dinosaurs, crocodiles, and giant crabs. These are some of the exhibits that you can find at the Lee Kong Chien Natural History Museum. While the museum is filled with specimens of wonder, it would be hard to miss this. The 10.6 metre long skeleton of an adult female sperm whale. She was found drifting off the coast of Jurong Island on 10 July 2015 and towed to the Tuas Marine Transfer Station for recovery. One day, suddenly I got a text message to say, hey, the carcass of a whale was a show in Singapore. Let's ask the government to give it to us. Scientists from the museum believe the whale died after colliding with a ship, as there was a large wound on her back and a broken vertebra below the injury. They spent many months examining and preparing her skeleton for display. The young fellows in the museum really did a super job. They spent a week in the sun, you know, dissecting the whale, getting rid of all the blubber, uh, the maggots and everything, boiling, boiling the bone, get rid of the fat, took it apart, and then had to reassemble this at another place. The whale was named Juby Lee because she was found in the same year that Singapore was celebrating her Golden Jubilee. Her skeleton was put on display eight months later in March 2016. But as majestic as she is, Juby Lee isn't the first whale to be exhibited in a museum in Singapore. Between 1907 and 1974, an even longer 13 metre long skeleton of a blue whale was on display at the former Raffles Museum. How did this skeleton come to be in Singapore, and where is it now? On 25th June 1892, the Singapore Free Press reported that the steamer Bengkalis had sighted a large whale on the beach near the Kersang River, close to Malacca. Its remains were sent to Singapore, where it was acquired by the Raffles Library and Museum. However, the skeleton wasn't displayed until 15 years later, after the museum was expanded. The specimen had missing bones, so these had to be modelled in wood and plaster using measurements and drawings of existing whales before the full skeleton could be exhibited. The team at the museum took several years to accurately identify the creature. They initially thought it might be a humpback whale before eventually identifying it as a blue whale. The skeleton measured 13 metres, which is about the length of a bus. That may seem large, but in fact, a fully grown blue whale can reach up to 30 metres long. Here's Jubilee in comparison. When the Raffles Museum underwent upgrading works in 1924, the skeleton was removed from the public gallery and hung from the ceiling above the museum's second-storey staircase. It remained there for half a century and was one of the main highlights of the museum. By 1948, it would attract a quarter of a million visitors annually. In the early 1970s, the Singapore Science Centre inherited the whale skeleton and the rest of the natural history collection from the Raffles Museum. Unfortunately, the whale was too large to be displayed within the Science Centre and it was eventually gifted to the National Museum of Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. This decision disappointed many in Singapore. To explain why the whale had to go, the assistant director for the Science Centre wrote a letter in New Nation. Today, the whale skeleton is the centrepiece of the Labuan Marine Museum of Sabah, where it was transferred to in 2003. Although we no longer have the first whale skeleton, Jubilee's exhibit couldn't have come at a better time, just a few months after the Lee Kong Chien Natural History Museum opened its doors on 18th April 2015.